Hello folks, I hope that you are having just a great, great day today. Today we're going to do another short story in this collection that I came across. Um, this is a short story that I actually read, this is actually my second time reading it for you. And I actually decided to go ahead and do a review of it this time. Uh, it's by Saki. Now I have previously done a deep dive into Saki. I have reviewed a lot, a number of his short stories. I actually read a collection of his, big, a big giant collection of Saki's stuff. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at a short story by Saki that is called... Uh, hold on, I'm trying to give you the, the official title here. The Soul of, and I, I can't pronounce this person's name, La Plaschka, L-A-P-L-O-S-H-K-A. You'll see it in the title uh, when I do my, my telecard on my video. Uh, the Soul of La Plaschka, I'm sure I'm slaughtering that name uh, by Saki. Um, so we're going to be doing another review of a Saki short story for you. Um, because on second review, on read, it's grown on me and I like it a lot more. I like it more now than I did on the first read. So, so I'll try to link it for you for free, uh, as well as for this collection. Um, as a reminder, Saki was this a humorist. He was a, uh, a a guy who was living outside of the norms during his his time during the uh, Penny Truffle era. Uh, and he was an incredibly gifted and talented writer, somebody who I enjoy reading. I hear a lot of horror uh, and other genres in the speculative fiction, but mainly horror, uh, much more so than fantasy or science fiction. Um, I don't. Th I have a short story by. But I don't remember any by science fiction, but I do remember some have more of a fantasy feel to them. Uh, but horror tends to be uh, the major thing that he uses. Um, uh, and I have a full collection of everything he's read. I'll actually link you to that collection too. So I'll link you to three things: this collection, that collection, in case you want to buy it. I take a deep dive into Saki, and then the free video online. I'll try to find that for you too. And then let's go ahead and start with the short story. This is a this is a four page short story. This is incredibly common for Saki. Saki stuff tends to be really, really fast. It's a very, very short read. I mean, it's like fifteen hundred words, maybe <laughs> twelve fifty. It's a fast read. It didn't even take ten minutes for me to reread it for a second time. It didn't take ten minutes for me to read it the first time. So I probably spent like maybe seventeen or eighteen minutes reading it twice. <laughs> Not a big investment of your time. Basically, we're going to open up with our point of view character, somebody who's a friend of, of Laplashka. Um, and the first opening line is that Laplashka is a very mean person. Um, and then we're going to find out how Laplashka is a very mean person in the first page or two of, of this four page short story. We're going to find a lot of examples of how Laplashka is an incredibly uh, mean person who's very, very stingy with his money. Um, and then about a page and a half into the short story, Laplashka is going to die. Uh, how is he going to die? There's the, the coroner is going to say one thing, but his friend's going to say, actually, it was grief because I owed him two francs and I hadn't paid up yet. Um, so he believes that that's the reason actually why Laplashka has died. Our point of view character, he disagrees with the coroner. Uh, and uh, we'll follow along with what's, what happens with Laplashka and the, uh, the two francs that he owes him. And I'll go ahead and leave it to you there, but Laplace will die and then stuff will happen. Um, and it feels like a horror short story. Uh, it's, it's, it's well done by, by Saki. Again, uh, Saki stuff is pretty good. This isn't my favorite Saki stuff, so it's not getting a 9 or a 10, but it's, it's a solid 7. Uh, it's very well done. It's very well, very well uh, regarded. And I enjoy the inversion in the short story that's going to happen uh, uh, because of the person whose money that's owed by our point of view character to Laplashka. Um, and there will be an inversion that happens in this short story, which I actually enjoy uh, for you. So I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read Saki's uh, The Soul of Uplashka? Anything else by him? I would be more than happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. If you enjoyed this short story review, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button because there's going to be, let me tell you, a lot more of these to follow. Finally, hey, I just want to thank you for taking some time out of your day and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're being pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I really appreciate it. So thanks again and have a great day.